dream of you, brother. But you don't know that you're dead. It's like a movie where the protagonist is oblivious, but everyone else seems to know exactly what's going on. It's like life, actually. For black men, life is a sick, twisted plot where everyone knows that you're dead or that you're gonna die, except for you. It's a sick joke that no one lets you in on. The horror movie surprise with spoiler alerts for everyone, except for you. Such naivete. We live in a world where the tombstones of black men are carved at the same moments as their cribs. Death cradles them from the time that they are born to the time that they return to the earth. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust, they all fall victim to the barrel of the gun. The afterlife calls out to them even in nursery rhymes. Instead of being held by Mama the Grim Reaper, rocks them to sleep and whispers, But not too long. So a pacifier becomes a bullet, a rattle is a gun, a crib is a jail, colic is a gunshot wound. I am so angry that my brother never even saw it coming. Or maybe he did and stared death dead in his face and dared to live anyway until somebody had enough such a cruel act that God would have you whisper your eulogy to me one night in drunken conversation knowing that I'd be the one planning your funeral in the next. I imagine a big sister learning of her little brother's precious arrival, picking out crits, organizing pictures for baby's first book, and singing nursery rhymes joyfully as she writes about how she vows to protect him forever. Instead, my reality is being jolted awake in the dead of night learning of my dearly beloved big brother's departure, picking out caskets, organizing pictures for an obituary, and writing a eulogy trying to drown out those haunting gospel songs that played in the distance as the sun rose that Sunday morning. We mourned your sunset. My heart hurts knowing it is entirely too late to tell you I would have saved you. I would have took that bullet for you a million times. I wish I could have saved you. I live with burdens that I am so very glad that you are too carefree to carry, but I still live with those burdens because it is all of you that I have left. You remind me that we all die. You reminded me that I am terrified, but I go to sleep every single night knowing that I am the closest to death that I will be. And there I am the closest to you that I will ever be again. So I'm okay with dying for just a little bit. And it is so sad because I dream of you, brother. I dream of you and you're blissful because you don't know that you're dead. You don't know that your end is coming sooner than we could have ever wanted. Brother, you are dead and it weighs so heavy on my chest that God slows my heart rate at night and opens heaven's gates to grant me visitation to see you breathe. Brother, you are dead. But in my dreams, you live. And sometimes there are just no need for spoiler alerts.